Hello and welcome to the demo of Offline Data Collection for CCS Agents. At the onset, let's understand what exactly we mean by Offline Data Collection. At times, it may happen that some CCS agents do not have connectivity with a CCS manager or any other CCS component. You may still need to collect data from such agents and generate reports to demonstrate compliance to the auditors. Earlier, it was impossible to collect data from an agent that didn't have connectivity with a CCS manager. But CCS 12.5 now supports offline data collection for Red Hat Enterprise Linux agents. To use the offline data collection feature, you must have CCS 12.5 Manager and Agents and Security Content Update 2018-3 installed. You can have a freshly installed 12.5 agent or an existing agent that you upgrade to 12.5. Here you can see the supported versions of Red Hat Enterprise Linux for the offline data collection feature. Register the agent with a CCS manager with the load balancer role using the offline option. Instead of attempting to contact the manager, the agent will create an XML file that must be copied to the manager manually. Create an offline data collection job and run it in the Generate Query mode. Copy the encrypted zip file with queries from the CCS manager to the respective agents. Copy the output encrypted file with data collection results from the CCS agent to the CCS manager. Run the ODC job in Collect Result mode. After the result collection is complete, mark the ODC job as complete. To begin with, let us understand the Offline Data Collection, or ODC, job. The ODC job runs in the following three phases. Generate Query. An ODC job runs in the Generate Query phase as soon as the job is created. Based on the scope of the job, queries are generated for each agent. The queries must be copied onto the respective agents. Data collection is done on each agent and an OEF results file is created. Each OEF file must be copied back to the CCS manager on which the queries were generated. Collect result. In this phase, the data collected by the agent is imported to the CCS manager and stored in the production database. You can run the job in this phase several times until you complete this step for all the agents that are part of the ODC job. Mark complete. After the results are collected for all the agents scoped in the ODC job, you can mark the job as complete. This ends the complete cycle of offline data collection. Here you must note that after marking the ODC job as complete, if you run the offline data collection job again, it starts running a fresh cycle in the generate query mode. Now let's look at the demo. We have two Unix agents which are currently offline. We want to collect data from these agents. The first step is to use the register command with the newly introduced dash "-o switch to register the agents with a CCS manager. In the register command, ensure that you use the host name of the CCS manager and not the IP address. Once the agent registration is successful, an XML file is created on the agent. Manually copy this file from the agent computer to the specific location on the CCS manager. The registration process is complete once the XML file is copied on the CCS manager. On the CCS console, go to the Jobs workspace and run the Fetch Registered Agents job. This will import the registered agent into the CCS asset system. Once the job completes successfully, Go to the Assets workspace and ensure that the agent is now part of the CCS asset system. Next, create an offline data collection job. Using the newly added agent, select the appropriate standard and create the offline data collection job. Check Generate Queries if you want to run the job immediately. If you want to run the job at a later stage, do not select the Generate Queries option. Instead, just click Finish to create the ODC job. You cannot change the scope of the job, that is, edit the standards or assets added to the job, once it starts running in the Generate Query phase. In the Generate Queries phase of the job, depending on the job's scope, 
Queries are generated per asset in separate folders having job name and asset name. You can go to the job details and view the location of the EZF file. The next step is to manually copy this file from the CCS Manager load balancer to the respective agent computer at this location. The agent pulls for the EZF file every 60 seconds. When it detects the file, it extracts it and collects data based on the generated query. A results file is created with an OEF extension. Copy the results file with the OEF extension manually from each CCS agent to the CCS Manager load balancer on which the queries were created. Run the offline data collection job in the collect results phase. The data collected on the agents is imported on the CCS Manager. The production database is updated with the results. You can run the ODC job in the collect results phase several times until you mark the job as complete. Complete the importing of data from all the agents scoped in the ODC job and then mark the job as complete. Once you mark the ODC job as complete, it signifies that one cycle of the ODC job is complete. Now that the offline data collection is complete, you may want to view the reports. For this, you must run the following jobs in the specified order. 1. Evaluation job. 2. Report data synchronization job. 3. Report generation job. This way, you can generate reports for offline data collection and demonstrate compliance of such assets. Thank you for watching this video.